In the meantime, a fleet of trucks at the Dangote refinery began loading off first batch of patrol. At the start of the process, 10 trucks drove into gantries while their compartments were filled with patrol from a computerized gadget. The NMPCL had stated that hundreds of trucks would be deployed to the refinery for PMS loaded. Meanwhile, the Minister of Finance and Coordinated Minister for the Economy, Wale Edun, who spoke to journalists, pointed out what this means for Nigeria. He stated that NMPC and Dangote have agreed on various terms that allow patrol production to the Nigerian market, which will in turn generate energy security for the country. He, however, did not state the buying price nor selling price. All on the side of uh, the federal government of Nigeria, the Ministry of Finance, the chairman of FIRS, we congratulate everybody for having brought us this far. And I think what Nigerians can look forward to is energy security, energy sufficiency. And as we look forward, we can also look at the issue of cost. What we're expecting that as this refinery and even others, as they ramp up production, ramp up scale and achieve uh, greater economies of scale, there should be the opportunity and there is definitely the potential to reduce their costs which should pass on to the consumer. So we have to give them a chance. They have just started. They have done very, very well. It's a triumph, Alaji Aliku Dangote, it's a triumph for Mr. President over and above anything else. But it's also a very good day for Nigerians and we look forward with optimism. Thank you. Thank to discuss uh, the latest from the lifting of patrol from the Dangote refinery and related issues, I'm being joined by Timmy Tokwe Konlade, Senior Manager and Lead ESG in Climate Change Services at Anderson. Uh, welcome and thank you for joining me this morning here on News Now. Uh, given the varying pump prices across different states, uh, just as we mentioned, what factors do you think influences the regional price uh, disparities? Well, simple um, uh, factor that 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 uh, influences the regional prices. It's uh, transportation, in my view. Um, apparently, the refinery is here in Lagos, transloading again because of our transport system that has not been fully perfected. We still have trucks to travel all the way. The cost of diesel that those most of those trucks use is one key issue that they will be concerned about as how much will take them down to the far north or the south south and in other regions as, as the case may be so that's one critical uh, factor that impacts the pricing uh, and again because uh, we've not had those trucks convert to cng maybe the cost will, will have been less than what we're seeing mm. Anyway, um, you've mentioned transportation costs, maybe local market conditions could also be highlighted, um, just saying, or maybe other underlying factors. But I'd like you to focus on, uh, there's conflicting statements that's been coming back and forth, especially from the NMPCL and not forgetting to from Dangote Refinery regarding the uh, purchase price of petrol. Now, this has raised questions, especially about um, the business relationship. Uh, what do you make out of this? At first... It was Dangote Refinery saying that the price will be fixed uh, by the downstream sector, of course, one that is approved by the president, who happens to be the Minister of Petroleum. And then again, you have the NMPCL saying, no, not yet. Uh, so it's been a back and forth. Uh, what's your thought on this, by the way? Well, I, I think uh, celebrating little wins, for me, it's uh, one good step that we are getting closer to uh, market-reflected price for PMS in particular, because what we've had in Nigeria over the years has been petrol politics. It may not have come to an end, but at least we are beginning to see uh, cost-reflective uh, pricing for the product, especially now that we have uh, local refinery taking, uh, refining taking place in Nigeria. So the, the war hasn't come to an end just yet. When it comes to pricing, I, I think that we may not be able to fault, fault either of the parties. Uh, the one who pays says, oh, uh, this is how much, and apparently what may have happened is that it's converted the money uh, from USD to Naira and say, oh, this is my rate, this is how much I get USD for, uh, for a Naira, and that's how I 
came about my rates. Uh, whereas uh, Dangote is saying, you know what? I sold in USD, so you can't tell me it's 800, uh, 898 Naira that you got it from me. So those disparities would be there. One is the buyer, one is the seller, one is looking at its books and he's saying, oh, this is what it would come to for me. But I think in the long run, uh, it, it's really about some price convergence. And in particular, one of the things that you mentioned, we would like a situation where NPCLs uh, steps back a bit and allow the marketers to really approach uh, Dangote and begin to take these products. But I, I can imagine again that Dangote might have some preferences to uh, for trying to deal with uh, NNPCL directly because of the crew that it gives to, to, to Dangote. Uh, so uh, those issues are there, but uh, by and large, I think we're getting closer to some uh, more transparency within that sector and we'll begin to see uh, the true price of and the uh, true cost of, of these products. Is there any chance uh, that the prices will uh, come down? We've seen that Borono has the highest, about 1,000 plus, followed by Abuja as well, 999. And then you come down to Lagos and so on. Now, we do know um, in the NNPC's uh, press release, they had mentioned that uh, the price... Uh, will remain this way just for one month, which is the month of September, because crude was being sold in dollars. That's USD to Dangote Refinery. And now, um, hopefully, they say it's just for one month. Uh, do you have any certainty or do you believe that the prices would come down, especially from next month? Well, I mean, for me, uh, I'm happy that, again, we are having some sort of market reflective uh, pricing as much as it may not be very convenient for Nigerians. Uh, but I am very optimistic, if that report is anything to go by, that uh, the prices would come down. Apparently, uh, if uh, Dangote doesn't have to source for any crude from outside Nigeria or maybe even sources for some, but uh, they are minimal uh, compared to the volume that it's getting from NNPC, uh, for, uh, yeah, NNPCL, and of course, at a at, at, at Naira rate, it would mean that the cost of sourcing for USD would be out of play for it. And it, it would also mean that the cost of its products would be less uh, and the pricing of its products would be more convenient for Nigerians. So that's one thing to think about. Uh, the other thing to think about is we then uh, down the line begin to have the modular uh, refineries work for us. If the market is completely liberalized, we'll begin to see some real price reflective uh, uh, I mean, some some cost reflective pricing, as you would find that. So the import markets could also be competing whatever is available from Dangote in Nigeria. So it's not going to be a monopoly as it were. Uh, you would see several persons trying to play within that field, and th there would be some price convergence. So I expect that the prices would come down at some point, but we should also bear in mind that the price may come down, but it will not stay down all the way because it's really about the cost of crude per time. The cost of crude uh, in, in the last one month has been suffering some decline. And so if it goes up, it, it has uh, it would have an impact on the price. So maybe, again, we may not expect so much of stability in the pricing. It will come down at some point. It may go up at some other point, except uh, the government decides to find a way to regulate. But again, the PICs don't regulate. So if you're following that, we shouldn't expect fixed pricing going forward. Mm. Anyway, Mr. Timmy Sokwe, Kolade, Senior Manager and Lead ESG and Climate Change Services at Anderson, thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us.